so here uh, we said we have two inverses either this one or that one so here why I have it between minus 1 and 2 so it's bigger than minus 1 so as you can see I have here minus 1 plus so this is bigger than minus 1 this is what I want here it's minus 1 minus it means less than minus 1 so always to check which one I want I look at the y of the range of f of x according to this one I pick for example the one I want so here I have it between minus 1 and 2 y so which one is between minus 1 and 2 or bigger than minus 1 is this one so this is the uh, accepted one and this is the rejected one now derivative of the inverse function now derivative of inverse function suppose you have uh, this is the y this is the x-axis this is the uh, y equal to x here you have a function f of x and you have a point a here whose components small a small b and opposite to it I have the inverse function f inverse of x here so the opposite of a it will be a point a prime whose components are b a x will be y and y will be x now I want to find the relation between f prime of the point a and for the same point f inverse prime of the point b because a will be b will b will be a so for that reason i want to find the equation of the tangent here uh, certainly suppose the equation of the tangent is y equal mx plus n where m is f prime of a so if you replace x by y to f uh, and y by x you're going to get uh, x equal m y plus n you solve again for y so you're going to get m y equal x minus n and y will be f inverse of x is x over m minus n over m so what does it mean that it means that the derivative here of the point f of x is m that of its inverse it is 1 over m and in other words f inverse of b prime is inverse of 1 f prime of a we can write it as f f inverse derivative is df inverse of dx at x equal to b is 1 over df of dx at x equal to a so always without finding the inverse we can find the derivative of any point by using that of f so let us take an example an example let f of x equal x cube and you have the point a to six you want to find df inverse at dx at that point we know that if you replace in f of x x by two replace here x by two eight minus two cube minus two is six so in f inverse you're going to have a point A prime whose components are 6, 2. So using this property, I want the derivative at uh, the point A prime. So df inverse of d, df inverse of dx at x equal to 6 equal 1 over derivative at x equal to 2 of f. So derivative of f here, you have x cubed minus 2, it is 3x squared, but I want it at x equal to 2, so it's 1 over 4 times the 3, 12. So 1 over 12 is the derivative of the inverse function at x equal to 6. It's something very simple. Another example here. Let f of x equal x square. I want f inverse of 2. Here we have at f inverse, I have a point A prime whose abscissa is 2. I don't know its y. 
in F, this will be point A, whose Y is 2. So in A, I have the function. So I say 2 equal X square. So X is either radical 2 or minus radical 2. But they told me in the problem that X must be here what? Positive. So I get rid of this one. So X will be what? Minus radical 2. So it means that df inverse of dx at x is 2 equal 1 over df of dx at x equal radical 2. Derivative of x square is 2x. Replace x by radical 2, it will be 1 over 2 radical 2. So thank you for listening.